by Janet Winter. Text by Jonah Winter. Deep in the mountains of Mexico, there was a town called Guanajuato. And in Guanajuato, there were two happy parents. They were happy because they had twin sons, Diego and Carlos. But Carlos soon fell ill and died. He was not even two years old. This left poor Diego all alone. Then he fell ill, just like his brother. The doctor told his parents he should have a nurse. They found a woman named Antonia. She was an Indian healer. Antonia took young Diego to her hut in the mountains. There was fresh air. There was sunlight. Her hut was very small, but it was a good place for Diego. Inside there were magical things. There was an altar with candles and little dolls. There were all sorts of herbs and dried fruits. Antonia used these in her healing. Even while he slept, Diego breathed the vapors of her medicinal herbs. During the day, he played in the jungle. The animals were his friends. One day, Diego whistled. A parrot whistled back. The parrot became his pet. Diego grew strong and healthy. It was time for him to go home. For a homecoming present, his parents gave him some colored chalk. Diego drew everywhere, even on the walls. He loved to draw so much, his father made him a studio. The walls were covered with blackboards. Diego drew and drew and drew, making murals that covered the whole room. Diego had a hard time at school. All day long, he daydreamed. When he got home, he played with toy soldiers he had made all by himself. 5,000 of them. He loved everything that was colorful. He loved to go to church just to see the little paintings on the wall. His parents finally sent him to art school. He was several years younger than any of the other students. It was an honor. But art school was boring to Diego. He didn't want to draw from models. He wanted to paint real life. So he did. Whatever he saw, he painted. He painted people on the Day of the Dead. This is a day when people think about people they love who have died. He painted people at the fiestas. These are special days when people wear colorful masks and dance through the streets. One day, Diego saw a horrible thing. He saw real soldiers shooting down striking workers. But he painted that too. It was what he saw. Diego didn't like everything he saw. That's why he helped the poor people fight their war for equality. They were fighting for fair wages and a better life. Diego loved his people more than anything. Almost. The thing he loved the most was painting. That's why he went to Paris, the art center of the world. But in Paris, all he thought about was Mexico. Then Diego went to Italy. He saw beautiful murals inside churches. They gave him ideas. He couldn't wait to turn his ideas into paintings. Back in Mexico. That's when he started painting the murals that made him famous. His murals told the story of the Mexican people. Day and night, Diego painted. 
his friends had to climb up a ladder just to see him. One day he got so tired he fell asleep. Diego fell off the scaffold. But he wasn't hurt. He wasn't even bothered. His murals were all that mattered to him. He put everything he'd ever seen into them. Things from Antonia's hut. Things from the Day of the Dead, the fiestas. Things from the desert, from the jungle. Everything. His murals were huge. There was nothing else like them in the world. Diego Rivera became a famous artist. His paintings made people proud to be Mexican. They still do.